Hey guys, Fat Guy XC here, back with another video today. Uh, got the 2019 KTM 250 XCW. Going to be looking at installing a shock spring in the uh, back here. And this is what it looks like right here. Uh, this is currently the stock version uh, WP has on the bike. And we're going to be replacing it today with a Race Tech spring uh, from Rocky Mountain. Dot calm uh, eventually we'll have to set the sag uh, as notice here but uh, so here is the race tech suspension spring uh, again got this from Rocky Mountain uh, it's a perfect place to shop for all your products um, on mine it was actually blue and uh, as you can see here it's black so um, no size difference uh, what what I ordered was a thicker spring and uh, should hold a body weight a little better and not sag as much so we'll get started here and uh, we just need to undo these bolts here at the bottom uh, I can see here on the W model the uh, linkage is actually on the swing arm so there's no need to actually take any more linkage off so we're just going to be looking at taking off that bolt there Ah, we got some stickers here. That's cool. So let me grab my socket here. You're going to need a 13 millimeter socket. And we're just going to be taking out this bolt right here. So let's go ahead and we'll get started on that. <coughs> As we're doing this here, uh, I think this was a pretty cool feature on the bike. Uh, actually, on the uh, swing arm, um, all the wide ratio bikes are like that. I personally did not know that before getting into this, so uh, pretty cool. The Husqvarna I had, uh, it had a linkage assembly on there, and uh, that was just one extra step that I would have had to have made. So uh, this is going to be a fast and easy swap here. Uh, so once it gets loose here, all I'm going to need to do is pick up on the swing arm and that bolt should be able to slide right out. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Uh, I'm going to lift and twist it around, pull it and it should come out just like so. There you go. I'm just going to put that on the back side of the spring. All right. So our shock assembly is loose from the swing arm. So we got that. Uh, now there's two ways you can do this. Uh, you could go ahead and try to unlock the spring from the assembly. Um, or there's a top bolt that we just took out of the bottom. And it's also 13 millimeters. And we can take the whole assembly out. That is the way I'm going to do it today just because... Um, getting our tools in between our pipe and frame is a little tough so I'm just gonna simply move remove this mud flap here these are our six millimeter uh, little screws that are in here so so I'm gonna take these out and just be careful when I'm taking this out not to drop those bells that they're sitting in as well and we'll go ahead and get these unloosened here all right and as you can see there got this screw and a little bit i'm gonna put that there and didn't get this one loose enough so i'm gonna go ahead and get that out and as i take this out there you go the flap's gonna come out i'll just lay that down there and put my other screw right there so now we are able to slide that out but we're going to go ahead and take this little allen key here and we're going to unlock this little screw here. Uh, this is what keeps our uh, shock in place, allowing it not to uh, get unscrew off from our little red uh, plastic there. See, I'm trying to screw it off and it's not loose enough, so I'm going to have to go ahead and just take it off. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, 13 millimeter socket and get that top bolt taken out. And a little pressure. 
pressure there. All right, here we go. Get that taken out. And this is honestly my first time doing this, so um, I could make it a lot faster next time I go to do it, uh, just because I've already known how to do it. So um, hopefully this video will help you guys figure it out for the first time. I'll go ahead and get this bolt out. Release some of that tension and it should slide right out like so. We'll put it in the front just because it's the front top bolt. And we'll go ahead and get, take that whole assembly out. Alright, so now that we have our shock assembly off, we're going to need to take this little collar off, as you've seen this red plastic. Uh, this tool here, it's a little spanner wrench. Uh, it's from Enduro Engineering. We got it from Rocky Mountain ATV. And all we need to do now that we've unloosened or undid the bolt there, uh, we'll go ahead and we can loosen this up. Yep, yeah, we want to twist it to the left. Just like so. We're going to loosen up. Oh little table would help here. We're going to go and loosen that up and uh, free up that uh, spring so we can um, get it off of there. So let's go ahead and loosen it up and then we should be able to turn it upside down like so. And to go ahead and take this off there is a tiny little ring at the top of this. There should be an opening on the front where it comes together and if you can press that spring a little you can see it just like so and sometimes a flathead screwdriver help get that off um, but that's what it looks like and then you're gonna have a little rounded top washer that's gonna be the bottom make sure you keep these in order and then just a washer that goes in between those and now you should be able to fully take off your spring like so and we'll go ahead and get the race tech spring here and we'll get it put on the assembly. All right, we'll go ahead and make sure right direction, got the lettering so I can read it. Perfect. All right, so let's put this back down correctly. We got our washer, our rounded washer. And now uh, we'll put this on there, unfortunately. I'm going to have to unloosen this again just because this is a stiffer spring and it's going to need a little extra room. Alright, perfect. Slide that in there. And once you should have a little gap there, you can be able to put it in there just like so. And make sure it all goes together. Push it back up and it seals it. And we'll flip it back over. Make sure, yep, stays stays how it should and now we'll tighten this uh, collar here back down to the spring so it gets nice and tight and then we'll give it a few extra spins now once you do this again uh, depending on rider weight and how you prefer to ride you will need to set your sag on your dirt bike so not too worried about tightening it too much because we will be messing with it later on to set the correct sag um, for my riding. So we'll go ahead and get it reinstalled here on the bike. Really easy. Uh, just put it right back where you had it. Got the top bolt. We'll go ahead and grab that. And there it is. And you'll have to lift up just a tad and you should be able to slide it in a lot uh, before you have to actually twist it. So we'll just lock it in right there. And that'll line up. We'll just have to lift our swing arm a little bit to uh, be able to line that hole back up. So again, nice and easy. This is very simple, especially on these wide ratio uh, KTMs. Uh, don't have the extra linkage, so that's just one extra step we don't have to do. So we'll go ahead and get this tightened up here. And again, uh, just putting a little extra pressure on. Uh, we will have to check our manual and get these uh, torqued to um, factory specifications uh, 
just to ensure that they don't come loose. Um, and what I'm looking at here, uh, because we will be having to adjust the sag here, uh, we just want to make sure that all that is easily um, available to me as far as uh, unlocking that little bolt we undid earlier to get to the collar. All right, get the bottom bolt back in. Just gonna slide my chair over. And again, we're just gonna tighten this down uh, enough to then uh, get our torque wrench and get it torqued down later to factory spec. And the uh, biggest thing is, you know, if you are jerking and pulling on this bike, make sure your bike is good and on the stand. Uh, see, I'm having a little trouble here. It's like in, to spin around and do all that. But uh, to get the hard part done, got the spring back on and two big bolts put on. Uh, we're going to then take our Allen key and get our little uh, collar bracket uh, tightened back down. Uh, I like to make sure that this is visible. So that way when we go to work on it uh, and set the sag, I'll be able to unlock it and get it set. All right, now we're going to come back here and we need to put our uh, mud flap back on. We'll go ahead and pick it up, uh, line it up with the holes. It's really simple. These are actually screw based. so. Um, should be able to hand tighten these and then we'll uh, get the socket and get them back in. Uh, this is really simple. Just make sure you get those little bell washers, put them back in the little insert uh, positions on the mud flap. And that is it. Um, while I'm doing this, uh, just make sure to like, comment, uh, subscribe. We're going to be doing various videos on how to um, put on, replace parts on the dirt bikes. And uh, we're also going to be doing some uh, actual riding too. So uh, hopefully you're going to go riding this weekend. We'll see uh, if the weather holds out. And uh, But yeah, um, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you think about the dirt bike. We're going to keep uh, getting new parts and uh, adding to our build on this hopefully uh, get it where we want it and see what we can do um, thanks for watching and uh, make sure again when doing any type of work on your bike check those factory manuals and get everything up to spec